Y'all out here eating everybody's food like it's all blessed and safe? Let me tell you something, you can't just be putting anybody's cooking in your mouth. Kudu has been warning us about this for centuries. You think you're just eating a plate of food, but you might be swallowing somebody's bad intentions or their hidden work against you. Not everyone's hands are clean, and some folks can cook up more than just a meal. Now, if you think it's just hoodoo, talking, check your Bible. 1 Corinthians 10 21 says, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. What does that mean? It means you can't be out here eating from everyone's table, mixing spiritual energies that don't belong together. Some people's kitchen is an altar, and not in a good way. In Hoodoo, we know food can carry power. Folks have been slipping things into meals for centuries, powders, roots, even intentions. It's one of the oldest ways to bind or control someone. Think about it. You're ingesting something made with their energy, their spirit. What if they prayed over that plate for your downfall? What if they worked a little conjure while stirring that stew? Now you've eaten their mess and wonder why your life is going left. And look, some people don't even have to mean harm. They just have bad energy. You eat that food, and next thing you know, you're feeling sluggish you're stressed, or your blessings start blocking up. It's spiritual contamination. Proverbs 23, 2627 says, Do not eat the bread of a miser, nor desire his delicacies. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Translation. If their spirit is jacked up, so is their food. Their thoughts and intentions are baked right into that bread and you don't want that energy in your life. So, next time somebody offers you a plate, think twice. Ask yourself, is this person spiritually aligned with me? Can I trust their energy? Because once that food's in you, it's in you. Not all food is made with love, some of it's made with spells, and some with spite. Keep your spirit and your stomach protected.